about life and we're sitting on the 41st floor um, of the Park Hyatt. Thank Park you. Hyatt. Um, the, the very famous one from the movie Lost in Translation. Drinking cocktails. Cocktails. So it's and cheers, cheers for two. Yeah, this is a bamboo adventure. Very nice. And I'm having a margarita. Very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wanted to take Dorothy here because it's got a perfect view of the city. You've got the Tokyo Tower, Sky Tree. This is the classic, classic it's bar in the Shinjuku. Thank you so much. So we just walked across Shinjuku to get here and um, just, just enjoyed the, the urban setting really. And the confusion of skyscrapers. Yes, yes, and losing the map of the size of the buildings. It, it is a very disorientating city. I'm totally not. <laughs> but, yeah, but, but, not, but not in translation, luckily. Not tonight, anyway. No. Um, so tomorrow I head off to Australia, and we're still forward to my family. And Gabriella's going to Australia shortly. So we can keep in touch because we've got lots of stories to tell. And this trip has been a lot of coincidences for us. Oh, it's it? just. When you travel, it's the people as much as the places and the cultures and the new experiences. What you remember are the people you meet, and you will always be Japan. Yeah. When you be Tokyo, Tokyo. you'll always be Tokyo. From Tokyo. And I'm so proud that you actually. I mean, I find this city overwhelming, and I have been in some cities, as you know, Nigeria, Cairo. Um, Oh, lots and lots of very busy cities across the world. Yeah. But this, this is this is actually something else. Let's talk about Shinjuku. So okay. you learned the interesting thing today about the station. That the oh yes, um, it's well. You think it might be one of the busiest stations in the world, but uh, evidently there's 3.6 million people travel through that station every day. Every day. Every day. 3.6 million. So you can imagine what rush hour is like. And we saw a photograph of several years ago where the, the, the guards actually pushed the people onto the train mm. to shut the doors. Mm. And evidently now there are still the same amount of people or even more, but there are more trains. Um, but it's honestly, and when people are going to work in the morning, it's like an army of ants. Mm. When, when you live here and you're in it almost every day, you become very philosophical about these things. Even today I was thinking, I'm just like an ant trying to get somewhere, we're all, all on a mission. And you become very aware of this. spatial awareness plays a big role in this city. But just tonight as we met, there were some guys coming out of an office block, all in their, their very smart black suits and white shirts and ties, and it was quarter past eight on a Friday night, and one of them just came in came out of the door and he just breathed the air and that's quarter past eight on a Friday night. The, the work ethic here seems to be tremendous. Yes. And people yes. work very hard. A lot of smokers here, you see them on yes. the ice cream yes. the balconies, yes. just yes. nothing away, anything for a bit of stress relief. Yeah. And of course the, the laws are very different here. So we don't have the, the laws here. Um, the, the smoking ban doesn't exist. Yes. No. So a lot of indoor smoking. Yes, even in restaurants and bars, people smoke, which is, is quite foreign to us now. It is, it certainly is. Well, it, it is like stepping back in time in Tokyo, I find. In some ways, but in other ways. In other ways, so it's technology is just yeah. so advanced. It's unbelievable. Some of the bars are in quite a modern bar now, but it, it could be the 1970s as yes, well, yes. with a lot of the bars. Um, so, once again, the city is here. It's just amazing. thinking, wouldn't it be the strangest, strangest thing if I got an inspection here? Well, you never know, strange things that would happen. Be, well, they do happen, actually. Very strange things do happen. That, but that would be because we both work at Cambridge University. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if my mother could see me now. <laughs> True. It's very, it's very True. surreal times. Um, and it's been so nice having Dorothy here because what do you call me, Mrs. Parker? I do, I do. I'm, I'm gradually getting used to it. I'm, I'm getting call, used my to My friends it. call me D. I would rather call D. 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 I remember you saying that. Yeah. Like, so you have to try and call me D. Right. It should be even harder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's been nice having D here. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, because unfortunately a lot of people can't can't travel here. There are a couple of people from Tallow came here once to visit their son traveling, so I remember that a few years ago, but um, no one I've known as long as you, you know, that my parents haven't been here. So it's it's been very nice having having someone from home come here. But it, it's very surreal because it's like you're stepping into a different world that, that becomes separate from what you know. But also you want to share with people exactly your where you live, what yeah. you do. Yeah. You know, you showed us with the first office you worked in. Yes. You want to you want you want to share that with people, That's right. don't you? And, and and you must feel I know when my son moved to Australia they were desperate yeah. for me to go yes. because they just yeah. wanted to show me where they yeah. lived. It's um, human nature when you've gone yes. from a close knit community and a close knit family from sharing day to day life, going places together. And then having having um, fun here and not being able to truly for people to understand it, I think that that is the hardest it's, thing. When you like, when you describe things, they have no concept of what you're yeah. describing. They can only imagine it. I sometimes go on video chat, but not often enough. Great. But it's still it's just video, isn't it? It's not like walking around, smelling the scent of the city. I remember one of the first things my Japanese friends from um, one of my friends from Durham University said got to come to Japan and smell Japan and when I first you know set foot in Tokyo I could smell the tea the the, the pubs the bars and every city has a unique scent I think did you find that with Tokyo yes. was it yes. memorable yes what do you what, what were your impressions in terms of sense sensory overload the lights the flashing lights and yeah. the, um, the noise and the busyness and the, it, it's just so different yeah. to, to the little Durham village where I yeah. live the village green. Yeah. It's just it's, you know, it's the sensory experience. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and so many people and all intent on where they're going. Yeah. They're so intent on where they're going. Yeah. Where are they going? Yeah. You know, all times of the day and night people look as if they're on a mission. Yeah. You know? And yeah. Um, it's it's like like London on acid, isn't it? Yes. It's just so much. <laughs> yeah, because London there's a lot more tourists and people are yeah. walking leisurely here. Yes. There are some tourists and people that, you know, in some areas are walking more leisurely, but most yeah. people are poof. Yes. <laughs> on the yeah. So that's our cultural observation of Tokyo. Yes. So and we're hopefully going to meet in April. Yes, I hope so. Possibly Lanchester. Back, back home, and maybe back get home. some more of these teachers. Yeah, I'm ready for home. I'm ready for the trip home. But Tokyo will be waiting again when I get back in the spring. I think I might miss the spring. It's going to be early spring in Tokyo. It's going to be uh, mid March, but I'll be in Cairo at that point. So we're very, we're very similar, really. It's quite de death setting at the moment, aren't we? You've got a lot of your life ahead of you to do. <laughs> So yes, we're going to meet in April, and, and, and then we'll, I'll have Jordan and Israel to talk about. Wow. We'll have Cambodia to talk yes, about. That's right. And um, and I'll be able to tell you where I'm going for my next inspection. Yep. Which will be the northern hemisphere. Wow. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So this is goodbye from Tokyo for tonight. And once again, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Love to enjoy these cocktails. Absolutely fabulous. Bye. Bye.